So in this video, I wanted to talk about the budget of dropshipping, how much you actually need to get started with dropshipping. And I want to get rid of this big misconception that dropshipping is a low budget business because it's not. We just went up to the to the office rooftop and I decided to actually quickly make this video because I just received the message of a guy who thought he can actually get started with like three hundred dollars in their bank account. OK, it's not realistic. And the main problem with this is you only have two options when you get started. Either you figure out everything by yourself and you try and you try and you try and you have this like very slow learning curve where you watch YouTube videos, you maybe buy a couple of video courses, but you don't have a person who's going to guide you through it and you're going to burn through a lot of money. Okay. And I've seen a lot of people burning through an insane amounts of money. And I was also one part of this kind of ego movement where I thought to myself, I know everything better. That's why I don't need a person who's going to help me. And I just thought I'm going to figure it out by myself. Okay. I tried and in like almost the first year I didn't really make profits and it just wasted a bunch of my time until I actually understood that it's different. I basically changed it up and then I started working with a guy and then everything took off in a few months. Okay. However, you have to have budget to either have a lot of money to actually put into testing and do everything by yourself or actually pay a high quality person to coach you through the thing. Okay. There's no other option. If you try to do this like dropshipping math of okay. On average, I'm going to maybe spend like $100 per test. And that means that if I have like $700, I can test seven products. And normally within seven products, I'm going to be able to, to make it work. Okay. Unfortunately, this, this is not really the case. Okay. When you start out, you're going to see that it's not as straightforward as that sounds. Because number one, there's always going to be hidden costs and you're going to have a bunch of fees here, a bunch of fees there, and it's going to feel like less money than you actually spend in reality. And you're going to burn through a shit ton of money in the beginning very, very easily, especially if you have no idea how to calculate everything. Okay. And on top of that, you have a thing which is called break even products, which eat up a lot of time and money immediately. All right. So if you have a product which is doing all right, it doesn't mean that you're profiting immediately. It means that you're going to have to test a bunch of things on the product to actually make it work long term. Okay. But in the first, maybe like a couple of weeks or even a month, it's not going to be profitable. And after a month of testing, you still don't have the guarantee that then you will immediately make profits from there. Maybe you're just like burnt through money on the break even product. And with break even, I mean that it shows potential and then, then it goes down. In reality, a break even product normally is losing a little bit of money. Okay, so it's losing a little bit of money here and there, but it adds up if you in the end of the day don't make it a winning product. And that happens a lot when you have no idea what to split test. Because if you see that you have some kind of potential on Facebook, you see, all right, making some profits. Like I have like one day which is profitable, like I have a bunch of assets which are profitable and a bunch of assets which are not profitable. And then you basically decide to start split testing the product page or you start split testing the creatives, but you don't really know what a good creative is. If you do things which don't really matter and which will not impact everything, everything greatly, you're probably going to just end up losing money for nothing. And this is exactly why there's this alternative where you have a mentor who's going to tell you if you're doing the right thing or not. And a person who's just going to guide you through the whole process from A to Z. And there you always have to understand that a high quality person is not going to have a program which is just going to cost a few hundred bucks. All right. Because if you're going to have a person who's going to work with you one on one and who actually knows what they're talking about and what they're doing, their time is going to be valuable. All right. And if they don't and if they have a one on one program, which is super cheap, then probably they have no idea what they're doing and their time is not valuable, which means that they don't really know how to help you in the first place. So, so you need to get a person who actually will cost you money and you have to invest into that. But then after that, in reality, you save a shit ton of money. All right. Because for example, if you have a budget of, let's say 10 K, all right, you have no idea how quick that's going to be gone. If you do try everything by yourself and testing a bunch of products one after another and the next and next and next, it's literally going to be gone if you do the wrong things. For example, if you start branding and if, and if you start paying people to make your website and make really good creatives, everything adds up. All right. You just have to keep that in mind and understand that a mentor is always going to be the shortcut to you actually getting to where you want to get. All right. And I'm not saying it's like a magic pill and you don't have to do anything. That's a fucking bullshit. Obviously, you will need to do things. OK, you're not going to get a magic pill anywhere. However, the closest thing to it is a person who's exactly at the point where you want to get to. If you don't want to waste your budget, if you don't want to waste your time, 
Click the link below, sign up for a free consultation session with me personally. We're going to have a one-on-one -on -one call. We're going to figure out if we're actually a good fit to work together long term. If yes, we're going to start working together. It's a one-on-one -on -one program. We're going to tell you exactly how to structure everything, how to test and how to scale. All right. So click the link below and see you there.